Hey everybody, Ransom here, and this is Moz, by the way, my hardcore Iron Man. Uh, I know I said this episode was probably going to be a lot of questing, but there is a couple things I want to do before we start questing. Um, there is apparently another 10k we can get for free from the cockroach dungeon in Edgeville. I don't know what it's actually called, but we're going to go and check that out, so I'll see you over there. So here is the entrance to the other stronghold. I guess it's the stronghold of safety and not the stronghold of security. So uh, we're going to climb down to the bottom of this. I will see you when I figure out where the chest with the 10K is. Okay, I found the chest. It there's like a lever on the very top level you have to pull to open the jail doors and come down here, but here's the chest. It had 10k, a pair of gloves, and two 500 XP lamps, so I don't know what I'm going to use the XP lamps on yet. Give me just a second to think about it. I think I'm going to just dump them on defense, to be honest, because we need some better armor, so any any armor that we can get would be a big upgrade for us. So defense it is. And that gets us 11 defense, which should give us better armor, iron armor, right? So, And impied for magic, which is something that I'm going to go and buy with this money, so... Uh, we can make ourselves some iron when we get the smithing level, and we can make some impide real quick. Buy some impide real quick. Here we are at Zaf's store in Varrock. Uh, I want to see how much full impide is going to cost me. Like a thousand coins? Yeah, I'll go ahead and buy that. It'll save us some time. Uh, I'm not going to buy the spider silk or the bat wing, probably. Um, because it's a little bit more expensive right now, but we'll be making those gears ourselves probably. So let's go ahead and buy the Empide for right now. Okay, so we are back in the artisan's workshop here. Um, I have like a hundred bronze bars from smithing, uh, mining and smithing earlier. So I'm just going to get us to 10 smithing real quick so that we can make ourselves some iron armor. My mining is way, way above what it needs to be. So, and we're also going to upgrade our ore box to an iron ore box. So I will be right back y'all. For those of you wondering, where I'm going to get my iron ore, there is iron and coal here at the southwestern mine in Lumbridge Swamp. And there's also a bank right over here at the uh, Chattered Worlds. Is that what it's called? So we're going to get uh, enough bars to make an upgraded ore box. And then we're going to come back and fill, probably fill up our ore box twice to be honest because we're gonna need iron ore for steel eventually anyway so I am gonna do some mining and some smithing and I'll be right back okay and here we have finished our full set of iron armor I also upgraded our pickaxe and our uh, wood cutting hatchet so we got those as well sitting at 16 smithing so I have 120 iron ore left over and a bunch of iron bars still so we'll be able to make some steel gear after we do some questing which is good so uh, I think that's the last thing I want to do iron armor should be pretty uh, sufficient to do you know the low level quests that we needed so I think we're going to go ahead and start questing. Look how good we look. I also kind of want to put on our Hardcore Iron Man uh, override. You know, just because it's pretty much all we have right now. But, I don't know. Don't let me know what you guys think. Hello, this is uh, Future Editing Ransom with Moz, by the way. As you can see, we look way different than what is currently going on in this video. Um, 
I just realized that I didn't really uh, show off what quests that I had completed and what I hadn't completed and where I was in the account at this time. I do, however, have a screenshot of my pre-questing stats that will be up on the screen right now. Um, the next clip that you're going to see are it's kind of like a little uh, montage that I made of camera flyovers and quest areas that I was in and uh, I'm gonna put some fancy music or something in and the clip after that is me picking cabbages of all things so I just put this in here to explain what was going on I will be more prepared in the future when I do something like this thank you for understanding and welcome to our little questing montage And so begins the adventures of Maz, by the way, the hardcore Iron Man and every man of Gelenor out to explore the world's secrets. From the ancient tombs of past leaders of the great nations. To helping a young girl find acceptance and new friends in decorating her hometown for the holidays. Druids and tribesmen alike, no task is too small or too large for our hero. Okay, so I decided to take a break from uh, questing for a little bit. I have got quite a few quests done. I'm sure the clip before this will be all the lists of completions that I've done or something like that. But I am currently in the cabbage field next to Falador and uh, picking cabbages because I got 20 construction uh, and made two two pins on the farm uh, so I have chickens growing in my farm so I'm gonna need a lot of vegetables to feed the chickens so here I am filling up sacks of cabbages and that's gonna be my source of food for the chickens and the rabbits for right now um, been doing a little bit of stuff on the farm since I got 17 farming uh, filled up the honeycombs with woad leaves so that'll get us some extra farming XP every day and it's pretty cheap they're only like 20 coins each or something so uh, pretty pretty easy I went from like 17 to 31 farming just from collecting the honeycombs of one day so it was it was a pretty decent chunk of XP and here I am filling up cabbages. I'm going to be here for a while while I wait on rabbits and chickens to grow. Uh, just going to focus on getting them to adolescent at first because I want to get beans more than I need the experience right now because I need the beans for future upgrades and buying more animals. So I am going to be stuck here in this cabbage field for quite a while. I need about 3,000 cabbages and I can only fill up like, you know, 20... 180 of these uh, in all of these sacks per inventory so I'm gonna be here for a while um, I also am occasionally getting cabbage seeds when I pick these and so I'm just putting them in the allotments up here and that will help me get some extra XP and also gather some cabbages faster so I will see you guys in the next clip I'm gonna be here for quite a while Alright, so we just finished the Jack of Spades quest, which gives us access to Menaphos, which is going to be good for a lot of reasons. Um, Acadia trees are here, which are the best XP as far as woodcutting in the game. Uh, we got the fishing in the dist ports district, which is where we're going to get a lot of our food, basically, because um, beltfish are better heals than monkfish, and they're a lot easier to get access to. They heal 1650, I believe. Uh, desert souls and catfish are also pretty good early game food. We don't have the levels for any of that yet, but uh, the first thing I'm going to do is we need 150k for some uh, construction training. 
and we need the construction levels so that I can build a medium pin on the farm. So we're going to go ahead and knock that out and I've got a couple of things I want to try and do to make some money. The first thing we're going to do here is uh, crush some corrupted scarabs. They give a little bit of money and they give a, a lot of Slayer XP every time you crush a scarab. So um, it's going to be a decent way for us to get our Slayer up early on and, without having to do any tasks. And we're also going to make a little bit of cash. So there's a Slayer level. Um, and we're getting about 200 GP, 300 GP per scarab that we squash. So pretty interesting way to get money and pretty easy to All right, so the next thing I'm going to try here for a low level money making method, uh, I just did the Blood Pact quest and unlocked the catacombs here. Uh, these corpse spiders here have a chance to drop uh, spider eggs for a player owned farm, so I'm going to try and get some of those while I'm here. But the method is pretty simple. You are just going to kill these corpse spiders here and pick up the spider silk that they drop. And turn the spider silk into spider silk legs because that gives you the most amount of GP per spider silk and I think it's 450 GP to the store per one I made like 5k pretty quickly off of uh, one inventory of spider silk so as you can see I got some thread in my inventory here and we're just gonna stay here and uh, collect the bones and the spider silk and anything else that they might drop that I think is useful um, we're gonna get a bone crusher from Dungeoneering pretty soon because I'm really tired of picking up bones and stuff so um, that'll be one thing we work on on another day when I am not trying to do player own farms and questing So as you can see, I did a uh, full inventory here. It only took me about, I don't know, five or six minutes to get everything. So uh, I am actually earning thread back as well, and I'm also picking up all these other shit. So you could probably get more than that. So uh, let's sell all these real quick. 8.5K in like five minutes. So let's assume you can do 10 trips an hour. That's like 80K an hour, basically, on... You know, you only need what? Let's open up our crafting guide here. You need level 23 crafting and blood pact completed to be able to do this. So, pretty good way to start your low level Iron Man and get some cash. Uh, if you are guys are interested, 80 to 100k an hour, I would say. And uh, so, we're gonna get a little bit more cash so we can do our construction grind for 40 construction so we can. Uh, make our medium pin for the farm and then we will move on to something else so we got a little bit of money now we have uh, like 175 K I think 172 K but uh, the next thing we are gonna do is train construction up to level 40 um, it should only take about 540 oak logs and there is a sawmill guy right here next to the house portal. So we're just going to chop these oak trees, make them into planks, go into our portal, and rinse and repeat. It's going to be, it eh, probably should only take like an hour, maybe two hours at the most. So I will see you guys in just a little bit. Okay, so we have reached our goal of 40 construction. We can now build a large pin, or large pin, a medium pin once we get the beans to buy the deed off the farm and uh this is what our house is looking like we're probably never going to come in here and like actually build anything unless we have to for like an achievement diary or something um the butlers can give you like some helpful food and stuff sometimes so maybe i'll check that out in the future but um we're gonna need a workshop for a couple quests because you need the crafting table but I, I don't really see us making you know like decking out our house on an iron man because we don't really need it for anything so uh, yeah I'm gonna have a little seat here in my rocking chair and we're gonna end this episode here you guys cuz I uh, I'm probably going to do some more questing and money making, and uh, this is a, like a good stopping point. I think I have enough footage for another episode, so uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. 
Hey everybody, Ransom here, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did like what you saw, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss on what I come up with next. Also, give this video a share as I'm trying to grow the channel and every little bit helps. And I will see you in the next video.